Hey folks, hello there. By your request, I've arranged the translation of Yuji Nishida's interview that took place on a sportswear manufacturer's channel. I've left the links to the original clips in the description. In this interview, the Japanese opposite shared the secret of his jumping technique and physical fitness, as well as various game rituals that enable him to play volleyball at his best. And of course, there are many other intriguing aspects he discussed. So let's dive right in. Well, probably around the age of 5, my brothers were into volleyball, so I just followed in their footsteps. That's basically how I ended up here. It's a team sport, so even though there's just one ball, a group of people needs to work together to achieve great teamwork, and I love how it unites people, creating a strong connection among us. Many people have influenced me as a volleyball player, but when it comes to gratitude, my parents come to mind first, along with everyone who taught me the game. I'm deeply thankful for their support. It's thanks to them that I am now a strong and healthy player. These moments when you truly connect with other players and this connection later helps us achieve great results, after which people admire my performances, make me happy. That's what we play sports for and that's what we work for. And I'm thrilled that volleyball allows me to experience all of this. When I don't score in a crucial moment or lose a ball, I feel a bit insecure, but I don't let this feeling bother me for long. Strength training is indeed very important. I can lose about 2 kilograms when we play a lot. So, eating well and staying fit is crucial to avoid injuries, but my emotional state, how I feel, plays a much more significant role. If I'm not focused, my performance drops and the likelihood of injury increases. I'm relatively short for a professional volleyball player, so I have to jump higher than anyone else. What helps me so much is the speed of my approach. If I don't have a speed advantage over taller players, I won't outjump them. So I always focus on a faster approach and use that energy to boost my jump. If my approach isn't good enough, I'll likely be blocked. But if I do everything right, a good approach usually leads to a great jump and, most of the time, a point. That's the whole secret. It's about speed. The speed of the approach. If the approach is slow, I don't crouch as low. But if it's fast, my stance is much lower. Then I use the strength of my legs to jump high. So when I prepare for a jump from a fast approach, I focus on crouching low enough to leap high. I believe the balance between rest and work is crucial. In 2021, I played many matches and felt a significant strain. But I noticed how my leisure time greatly impacts my performance during the current and following weeks. And this was a new realization for me, a valuable experience. Once I got on a bus and didn't look at my phone until I arrived at the match. Comparing how I felt when I checked my phone to when I didn't, it seemed like the ball was harder to see. Post phone, it appeared to move faster and my reaction time felt slower. Now, instead of looking at my phone, I watched the landscapes outside, focusing on using my eyes and I noticed my reaction to the ball and deceptive attacks improved. This has become my pre-game ritual. To be honest, I don't get very nervous when I play. But if I do, I remind myself of what I've gone through to be here, trying to regain my past confidence. I encourage myself and repeat positive affirmations like, you can do it, which helps me calm down. Well, I just wanted to improve my overall game quality. That's my current focus, and enhancing my physical strength is part of it. I must ensure I'm well rested and eat properly and balanced. It might sound obvious, but failing to do so significantly impacts my condition, so focusing on this is vital. Foreign players tend to use their height and strength to gain an advantage, but understanding that I'm shorter and not seeing it as a disadvantage allows me not to be at a level playing field with taller players. You could mention many players like Ivan Zaitsev, who plays in my position, and Anderson, another opposite. These well-known players always give their all to earn each point they can. When we face them, we need to match their level of determination. Otherwise, we'll never outplay or surpass any of them. I need to develop a stronger, more assertive character to confidently face such players, not only to match their level, but to exceed them. It might sound a bit selfish, but I'd like to have the opportunity to play against everyone I haven't yet. This year is the Olympics, and we're working towards that. So I need to be sure I won't get injured or fall ill. 
In this pandemic era, my main goal is to stay healthy and ensure I can play volleyball at my peak. If I manage that, I also want to enhance my overall game quality and of course get stronger. It's a lofty goal, so there's much work ahead. My aim this year is to not look back. There are many ways to convey a message, especially now when people heavily rely on the internet. It's a chance to show how wonderful volleyball is and to tell them what the game is all about, who can play and why we love it. If we want more people to come and watch us play, we need to spread the word as much as possible or it'll be much harder to engage someone in what we do. I've done as much as I can, like many other players, but still we need to put in more effort, share more content with more people. We're incredibly thankful for all the support we have now and also grateful to all fans who come to watch our matches, despite the pandemic. This year, when we couldn't really interact with our fans, but they still came to support us, helped us realize why we do this and I've never been more determined to achieve results. So I express my gratitude to the fans. Thank you for your constant support. Well, I hope you liked this video and hit like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, it's Nick here. Love what you do and you're bound to succeed. See you soon. Bye.